two in a row. Let me just give you. A, I don't want to. I don't want to read all of this. You can read it on your own, Esther. You can read all this on your own, but Esther was chosen to be the queen on the Tazarus as we as the children of Israel are in the Persian and Mede empire under captivity, under the Persian and Medes. His wife, Bessie, didn't come. He wanted to show her off. She didn't come, so he got rid of her. And he marinated women for about six months in precious oils, and then they came before him to choose him another wife. And he chose Esther who was raised by her uncle, Mordecai. See, so she's the queen, and her taxes is the, the king. So you have this wicked Edomite by the name of Haman that came up with a, a way to have us bow down to an idol. And we don't do that. Mm -hmm. Our power is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. Hello, y'all. Oh, yeah. Come, you know. So we we thought as such in captivity as it is today. See, so Mordecai got wind of it, and so he came and told Esther, who was the queen, about how Haman had planned to kill us a day that they were going to kill us because we wouldn't bow down. We wouldn't accept what it is that uh, he would bring them forth. So look at, uh, we're just going to read a little bit. Of, read uh, Esther, the third chapter, the first verse. Once uh, Esther was chosen queen, we're going to look a little bit. We're not going to read the whole thing. We're just going to get it. Give you a little reference of it this week. Three and what? One. Esther, chapter three, verse one. After these things did King Ahasuerus promote Haman, Haman, the son of Hamadatha, Ham Hamadatha, the Agagite, and advanced him and set his seat above all the princes that were with him. Right, so he set this Edomite Haman up to be above everyone. Go ahead. And all the king's servants that were in the king's gate bowed and reverenced Haman, for the king had so commanded concerning him. But Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence. Right, so hmm. Mordecai said, I ain't bowing down to you as an idol. You want to bring yourself up as what? A god uh -huh. or idol, you see what I'm saying? I mean, get after this 20. And three. Hold that, we can come back with Exodus 20 and three. Exodus 20 and three. Thou shalt have no other idols before me. Yeah, <laughs> just the law. To Israel say, Thou shalt have no other idol before me, read. <clears throat> Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Right, so the most I said we ain't supposed to make nothing in the heavens or beneath the heavens or in the waters. You're supposed to make nothing and do this. Read. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Right, so Haman set himself as an uh, idol. Whereas we say that instead of God. Because God is really what's spelled backwards. Oh, dog. Right. That's what Mashiach of Shai called the Edomites. Dogs. Plural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Psalms 22, 16. You know, and Mark 7, 24 down, he called them dogs. So I'm saying, say, for dogs have come past me, the some of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. Who did it? 
the Romans, that's right. The so-called Italian, Caucasian soldiers. You see? So they took that word dog. In the Amish Bible dictionary, it says dog is a word that was used by the Israelites because of their to, concerning the Gentiles because of their profaneness and because of homosexuality. Straight up. They wrote that. We didn't write that. That's in the Unger's Bible Dictionary. So these are the things that we look at. Even up to this day, you see how prevalent it is. Promoted in all kinds of ways, shapes, and forms. Man. I, I, I had this movie on so my computer keep on uh, keep on uh, upload my so it wouldn't go off. This dude, this, it opened up with a uh, white man in the bed with a great day. First thing, I'm like, what? <laughs> Talking about a dog. <laughs> he talking to it, he opened up, he pulled the cover up, and it was a great game. Yeah. I seen a, a, a meme on Facebook, and it was a, it was an Edomite woman. She pregnant, right? Right. And you got a horse kissing the belly. And the meme, it said, it said, no one, no one needs white people. The, 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 uh, the horse is the dad, and the horse is the father. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, say what you want, man. It's right there. It was right there. I mean, you seen it, right? I mean, they make a movies like this. Like, man, man. So, read this again let's, so we get it on point. Verse 3 to 5. Let's read it. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Mm hmm Thou shalt have no other idols before me. Right. So, this is our law. So we ain't supposed to have no other idols before us, read. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Now this is key right here. This is a, point. <laughs> this is a semicolon after this. So no matter what you make or have, this is what you're not supposed to do, read. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Right, so when you, like, like I was saying, if you don't know and haven't really studied how things operate, not from what it is that they put in your face now, but those that were involved with whatever, just like they, everything that we have, they've infiltrated. Mm -hmm. They come in and they cause a vision right. to some, to, to a spirit. I mean, it's a spirit, it's a spirit. You know, Satan want to do what? Divide and what? Conquer. So that's a spirit that comes, goes through everywhere. No matter what we involved in, here it comes. Just got to recognize it and overcome it with the way the Most High said, and I'm not sure I'm sure I said, we have to be to make it. And all the law is based on loving the Most High with all their heart, mind, and soul, and loving thy neighbor as thyself. You start with self, you love yourself, you love the Most High. Love your brother or sister. You know what I'm saying? When you self-examination is you can't, like I said, initially, you gotta be humble. Because you're not humble, then you're gonna deal with what? Pride. And that's hateful before man and the most high. So that's why it shouldn't be a big deal for us to be together and loving the most high and loving each other. One way or another. There shouldn't be no something that should be natural. It should be something that's so out of order that it becomes out of order. Yeah. Most times not the author of confusion. He said everything done, done decent and in order. So I mean so everything has to have an order. Nothing that you deal with is it doesn't have an order. The ants have order. That's why he said look at the ant you slugger. You know what I mean? Everything has order. So without order you have what? Chaos. What's the ain't about that? So Confusion, right? So he's not the author of confusion. So we have to have order in everything that we do. And when you have order, then you see things operate better for you in your life. You see everything all together. So he said, "We." He said, "Don't bow down to these things." Read. Nor serve them. Nor serve them. Read. <clears throat> for I, the Most High, thy power am a jealous power. It's a jealous power. Read. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. That's right. And you hate the most high because you do what? Not do what he said. Not follow his laws, statute, commandments. Not follow his rules and regulations. He got rules and regulations. It's like you know how to go out there 
Yeah, you see a stop sign, you gonna stop. Especially you see a policeman. See the police go, I'm running stop like you see the police. <laughs> All of a sudden, you snap to your senses. Yeah. So train, 3 o'clock in the morning, ain't nobody around. That light is red, they will not cross that light. Right. <laughs> nobody around. That's why, that's why I talk, when I be out there street teaching, I tell them, look, y'all in order. Nobody, no police is here. Ain't nobody around. Ain't no traffic. But y'all wait till that light changes and that little man say, walk, don't walk across the street. You see what I'm saying? We program. That's why we gotta be programmed with the most high. Right. Anybody that say that we don't we we don't have to follow the laws, all that's doing is saying there's gonna be some laws that they say you can't you don't have to do. Yeah, I can't do it. They're gonna make excuses and say, oh, I can't do that. We don't have to do this. Some people don't wanna even accept it. So that's the main thing here is we can't bow down right. to nothing. Nothing. And serve it. You know, I seen the Pope, man, when he went up, he went to stuff, he was in Mexico. Went up those steps, the first thing he did was they had a little cross, like he had a little cross there. He went up to the po altar, altar and bowed down to that, in front of that cross. So what do you think all the people that's, that's cops are going to start doing? Bowing down. Bowing down to a little, get them a little cross with a Caesar Borgia on it and start bowing. That's the first thing he did, have a giant one in the back of him. But first thing he did was came up there, he had the little cross, and he bowed down to it. He put his head all the way down to that little cross with Caesar Borgia on it. It was a little one about this big, but he came up there, put his hand out, and bowed down to it. Exactly what the most I said we supposed to be doing. So this is what we're dealing with, with Haman, who's an Edomite, saying, hey, everybody got to bow down to me. But Mordecai said, ain't bowing down to you because of what it says in verse, verse 4. I mean, verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the most high, thy power, and make jealous power visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Yeah, but you hate the Most High because you are of the world. Mm -hmm. You're the enemy of the Most High. Mm -hmm. You at war with the Most High. When you are of the world, you at war with the Most High. Think about it. You think you something. You at you having a fight with the Most High. What do you think at war with the Most High enmity means? You at war with him. You are the enemy of the Most High, therefore you hate him. You can't say you love him. That's why he say visit iniquity upon the, the, the children of the fathers, the third to the fourth generation, man, of them that hate him. Read. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me. And the only way you show you love him is to keep his commandments. Do what he say do. Straight up. Read. And keep my commandments. There it is. Mm -hmm. So that's what Mordecai is doing here in Esther. Let's go back to Esther. Esther. Hmm? Hmm? No, Exodus 23 to uh, 6. Go ahead. But Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence. That's right. Mordecai did what? But Mordecai bowed not. See, Mordecai didn't bow. Read. Nor did him reverence. Nor give him reverence. This is where the problem starts. Me. Then the king's servants, which were in the king's gate, said unto Mordecai, Why transgressed thou the king's commandment? See? Why you transgressed the king's commandment? Me. Now it came to pass when they spake deadly unto him, and he hearkened not unto them. They told Haman to see whether Mordecai's matters would stand, for he had told them that he was a Jew. Right. So now Haman know that. Mordecai is a Jew. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And when Haman and when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence, then was Haman full of wrath. So this one, the white man, <laughs> the Edomite, got angry. This 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 Jew, he ain't gonna bow down to me. We think he is. <laughs> and the king gave commandment that everybody gotta bow down. He don't wanna bow down. So he got mad. He got hate. Yeah. I don't just that. We gotta add that he was an Amalekite on top of that. That's even worse. <laughs> I mean <laughs> that take it up, that take it up about another ten notches from a redneck white boy. He an Amalekite, so that take it up even higher. He, he, had, he, had, he really had an issue. Go ahead. 
and he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for they had showed him the peoples of Mor the people of Mordecai. Wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus, even the people of Mordecai. Right. So the people of Mordecai are the Israelites. We the Israelites. You, you see. So this is when Haman plotted on plot to kill us. Uh, start look at verse 12. Esther chapter 3, verse 12. Then were the king's scribes called on the 13th day of the first month, and there was written according to all that Haman had commanded unto the king's lieutenants and to the governors that were over, over every province and to the rulers of every people of every province according to the writing thereof and to every people after their language. In the name of King Ahasuerus was it written and sealed with the king's ring. Go ahead. And the letters were sent by post into all the king's provinces to destroy, to kill, and to call to perish all Jews, both young and old, little children and women, in one day, even upon the 13th day of the 12th month, which is the month Adar, and to take the spoil of them for a prey. Right, so this is what we look at, and we, we go by the moon and counting the days from the moon to be able to determine what they are holy days are, you see? So that's why we're having it amongst the Israelites tonight. You see what I'm saying? So it's falling on this 14th and 15th day. You look outside and you'll see that the moon is getting ready to be full. It's gonna be a full moon between now and 24 hours. You see what I'm saying? It's gonna be a full moon. You're gonna see that moon bright. It was, I seen it today, it was in the daytime full. You see what I'm okay. saying? So this is how we know that we, you know, pretty much on time with these holy days as we count them from the new moon to the 14th, 15th day. When you count 15 days from tomorrow, you'll see that it'll be the new moon again. See what I'm saying? So in the spirit of the Most High, you know, I love y'all to him that we're able to, you know, acknowledge our forefathers and ourselves today in honoring what it is that we honored and it was ordained that we would do this. Me? Verse 14. The copy of the writing for a commandment to be given in every province was published unto all people, that they should be ready against that day. The post went out, being hastened by the king's commandment, and the decree was written, was given in Shushan, the palace, and the king and Haman sat down to drink. But the city, Shushan, was perplexed. Right, because they said, damn, we gotta kill all the Israelites like that's in our cities? We gotta kill all of them? And you had those that was right along with them. Haters of us. They ain't when they, they, yeah, this is good to them. Sound good to them. It's for pray to, to take the yeah, boys. Just, you know, just take everything from us and, you know. So, verse 4, chapter 4. Esther chapter 4, verse 1. When Mordecai perceived all that was done, Mordecai rent his clothes and put on sackcloth with ashes and went out into the midst of the city and cried with a loud and a bitter cry. Yeah. This is humility. See here? Like I was telling you earlier, this is how he was showing humility. Tore his clothes and started crying and put ashes on his head. Go ahead. It came even before the king's gate, for none might enter into the king's gate clothed with sackcloth. Right, he couldn't go into the king's gate looking like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Looking with ashes all over him, looking all sad and, you know, crying and knowing that this already happened to us, really. Right? And in every province, with their, with their so ever the king's commandment and his decree came, there was a great mourning among the Jews and fasting and weeping and wailing and many lay in sackcloth and ashes. Right, so you see what we're doing. These are examples of where we have to be at 
in the times coming, y'all. For humility.